In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about a different definition of acid and base. And the practical purposes, it's very similar to the Arrhenius, except with some slight differences. So for example, uh, this was the equation we wrote for the Arrhenius acid. Okay, Bronsted instead says, okay, an acid is a H plus donor. So how do we get an H plus donor? Where's the hydrogen being donated? Well, it's an aqueous solution. So what we do in the Bronsted-Lowry is to write the reaction this way. There's a lot of water molecules in hydrochloric acid, and that's where the proton goes. So basically, the H plus here gets onto water as H3O plus. And then what's left behind? Okay, so this is, according to the Arrhenius definition, this is the Bronsted-Lowry definition. Okay, so you must really realize that H plus and H3O plus are really talking about the same thing. Because you can't just have H plus floating around in water by itself. It's going to attach to the nearest water, the electronegative oxygen in water in particular. So let's draw the chemical structure of water and then um, H3O plus. So water looks like this. Okay, and it has partially negative oxygen, partially positive hydrogens. If we add a H plus to this, then we're going to add H plus to a lone pair. So the two electrons that were in the lone pair are now uh, part of the OH bond. So that's the chemical formula of hydronium ion. Now note that we have three equivalent OH bonds here. And so when the proton, if it was to go back off or be donated to somewhere else, maybe another water molecule, uh, it could be any one of these three. Uh, so the one that got put on uh, in, in the donation process is not any weaker an OH bond than the other, th uh, other two. So. Uh, you have to realize that. So that's the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry acid. What is a Bronsted-Lowry base defined as? Well, it is a H plus acceptor. Okay, so in this equation, we said ammonia was a base by Arrhenius definition because it produces hydroxide. Well, Bronsted-Lowry said, well, where did that uh, hydroxide come from? It came from water. And what happened to water is it donated an H plus to NH3. All right, so the, the water is the donor, okay? It's where the H plus came from. And this is the acceptor because the NH3 now has accepted H plus. And its formula is now NH4 because it has one more hydrogen. It has a positive charge because you're adding a plus to a neutral molecule. And this is what you can always do with the Bronsted uh, definition. You must always have an acceptor and a donor um, because if it's donating, somebody's got to accept it. Okay, so uh, now this is a reversible reaction, which means that the reverse reaction can occur by giving the proton back to where it came from. So this guy can give up its H plus back to hydroxide to make water. And so when it does that, uh, for the reverse reaction, this is the acceptor. And this is the donor. Okay, so when we diagram a Bronsted-Lowry uh, base in water, we always have this acceptor donor pair, and then if it's a weak base that has a reversible reaction where the proton goes back, we also have an acceptor and donor pair. So you must have one acceptor donor pair on each side, and not only that, but you must have an acceptor and donor on each side that are related to the same molecule. So the NH3 accepts the proton for the forward reaction, NH4 plus donates the proton for the reverse reaction. It's just like running the movie in reverse. And so uh, if you, 
when you assign all these terms, who's donating, who's accepting, and you can do it correctly, that can really help you avoid uh, any incorrect chemical reactions and, uh, and so on. Okay, what about this one here? All right, so the hydroxide, well, this is neither donor nor acceptor. It's just simply dissolving uh, the, um, the base. And so th this is not a donor acceptor reaction. It's just the chemical reaction for dissolving in water. However, once you have hydroxide, it can accept protons from anywhere, like another acid. Okay, so this would become a react uh, acceptor if reacts with uh, any acid. Okay, so uh, this reaction does not do the donor acceptor thing. However, hydroxide's still going to be a base because it's not going to sit around and do nothing if there's any place to get a proton from. All right, so that's it for the Bronsted-Lowry acid base.